Rocky Mountain National Park was established in 1915. Today it's 415 square miles of beautiful country, 95% recently designated as official wilderness area. One of the reasons that people visit Rocky Mountain National Park is the scenic vistas. Nice views up toward Hallett Peak, uh, a little over 12,700 feet. 14,259 foot Longs Peak. You can visit a rushing waterfall or a high mountain lake and see it when the sun rises and feel like you're the only person on the planet. A lot of options for folks. We were one of the first top 10 national parks established. About a third of the park is tundra, the land above the trees. And the main reason we were established at Rocky Mountain National Park was to protect this incredible resource. It's the ecosystem that's above 11,500 feet. Visitors are able to see that on Trail Ridge Road, which is the highest continuous paved road in the United States. Trail Ridge Road also takes people through a variety of other ecosystems. It takes you up to a subalpine ecosystem where the trees are just at their level of how far they can grow. Also, Trail Ridge Road crosses the Continental Divide. Continental Divide is the dividing point uh, in North America where waters draining to the west are going to ultimately end up in the Pacific Ocean and waters draining to the east end up in the Atlantic. And because it is the Continental Divide, we have the headwaters of many rivers here in the park. So as far as what you can experience in a relatively short mileage, 48 miles, is, is incredible and that's one of the main reasons that people come here. There's certain animals you're likely to see year-round, like the elk, probably one of our most famous animals here in the park. We also have deer, uh, coyotes, bighorn sheep. Those are all some of the larger animals you might see. So the park is really uh, quite a refuge for wildlife of all kinds and gives them a chance to flourish once again in their more natural environment. If you're looking for adventure in Rocky Mountain National Park, there is certainly plenty of things to keep you busy. We have so many different activities for families, whether it's having a great picnic at one of our picnic sites, whether it's uh, camping, whether it's fishing. We also have over 355 miles of trails in Rocky Mountain National Park. Either short strolls, just like around Bear Lake, which is only about a half mile around. It's actually a wheelchair accessible trail, which is uh, very nice. Nature hikes, I give talks in the visitor centers, I uh, do evening programs, star programs, and um, just basically help people enjoy the park. It is really a fabulous place to be for uh, a day, a week, or as long as you can stay. A lot of different things that you can enjoy. A one day trip, uh, probably you'd want to stick more to a driving tour. This park does lend itself to that about 120 miles of roadway. But if you can come back and do some of the trails, never a lack of trails to go out and explore and beautiful scenery to take in. So I hope folks do come and visit, whether it is for just a day or can come and spend a week with us. Always great to have people come out to Rocky Mountain National Park.